Okay, on these pocket gopher mounds, you can see you want to go out and find the freshest mound. And this mound's the freshest versus this mound here. You can see it's got kind of a crust on it, and it's harder. This is all real fresh. You just kind of knock the top off. You can see some moist, dark dirt in there. So your pocket gophers kick, normally they'll make like a fan shape here. And what they're doing is they're going down and in, kicking dirt out. So this little circle that it leaves right here is where the tunnel's going in. And so the most e effective way to clean it out is just kind of see where that's at, scrape this off, and then take your shovel, kind of probe around that tunnel and pull it out. And you'll feel the shovel give like that, the tunnel's open. And when they just kind of fall in like that, that's great because you know you're gonna get a great shot. So now the tunnel's open, we're gonna stick the rodinator in there. We're gonna give it about a minute's worth of gas. And we're gonna set it off. So when you're putting the gas in, when you first start pumping, I like to re lean over and I can fan it up, some of the gas up to see if there's a block in the tunnel, gas is gonna be coming out. And you're gonna smell some, a hint of propane. If you ever smell any propane, you know there's a block, stop inserting gas and reopen the tunnel somewhere else. Something else you can do when you have dry dirt is just kind of kick it over the edge of the unit, around it. If you see some gas pushing out, you know you've got a plug, plugged hole. This one is totally open, gas is going in, there's no gas pushing back out around the unit, and I'm not smelling any propane. So we now have gas flowing through the tunnel system, and we'll set it off here in just a second. Some of these things, I mean, this is nice sandy soil. A gopher, it's this sandy soil, a gopher can dig up to 100 feet in a day. So he could have tunnels, one tunnel going all the way up to the ditch and down through here. But wherever we see a fresh man, we'll blow it. Here we go. Nice, nice, I traveled down and connected the other fresh mound to that system. Okay, while we're here, we'll hit this other one. Some of these can be more difficult to open than others. There we go. I don't think I'm smelling any propane. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, good. This has got the darkest soil, so it's the freshest. So you can see the little plug right down in there. If I stick my shovel in there, oh, see that just kind of fell in. It's open. So that's all you need to do with this tunnel, except put gas in. It goes that way. There you go. Good. We are good. good. Give her a minute. That went back that way. Back nice, that one opened right up. Good. You betcha. This will be a nice one. Beautiful. Here it goes. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually just water vapor. Yep, carbon dioxide and water is the byproduct of our explosion, but you can see all along here where it's ripping the tunnel apart. It came right up, hooked into this next gopher tunnel here, and I'm sure it took off somewhere, but we've got another fresh mound up here. Let's go open it up and see what we can get. <sighs> kind of like kid stories, it's, it's fun, we're killing gophers. This one's open. See that? <sighs> Action. A little bit of moisture down in it. I'd say it's a day, day or two. But this one, he hasn't. He's excavated it. He's hasn't had a chance to block it up yet, and it's still open. And early in the mornings, a lot of times you'll find a lot of open tunnels. So if you can catch them really early in the morning, sometimes you don't have to open the tunnels. But as the day morning moves on, they'll put those blocks in there. And then towards the evening, they'll open them up again. 
I think this one's open. See, that went right up towards the ditch. It did go down that way. Went behind you. I should have bet. Um, I think we've got the fresh ones in the field here. What we're going to do is go, go up here and drive along the ditch, see if there's any um, fresh gopher mounds along that ditch. If we open those up and get into them, they'll go along the ditch, but I bet we'll probably find some of them to come back down into the field as well. Let like gravity carry that gas down for us well. On this side of it, on the north side of the ditch bank. Gotta get those gophers. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this training video. I hope we've given you everything you've needed to know. If there's anything in your question you're in question about, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-750-4553. And we'll make sure you feel confident before you get out in the field. Thank you very much for your purchase. Have a great day. Hey.